sometimes doesn't. Good. So welcome everyone. Welcome to the Chaos Value Working Group meeting of May 5th. So please add yourself in the minutes and tell us something. Uh, and the first item on the agenda is revision of the old matrix. So any update or anything? Uh, I guess, Kevin, you were reviewing the old matrix for value. Yes. Yeah. So I, I have, so I've gone through and I've, I've looked at all of them, but I've, I've actually, I've held off on creating the issues for them Okay. Uh, because of the, the kind of larger question I have about uh, recommending metrics be turned into metrics models. Uh, and I, I've mentioned it a couple times. I, I think most of the value metrics are actually models and not, uh, and not metrics. Do we want to look at, I'm like, I know for sure, for example, the social, whatever it was, social, something I, yeah which, I think that, the, which was removed yeah yeah that that one was already decided uh to to move that one into uh into a model uh but when we look at uh academic open source project impact for example that one is a model uh so my my thoughts on this so i i agree that many of the metrics are probably better suited to models <clears throat> my my uh, hesitation or my concern with this is that in the metrics model meeting one of the things that we decided was to start taking on metrics models kind of slowly but surely you know that we would spend really deliberate time working on uh, a model at a time, not just rushing them through. And that would involve really thinking about how it's structured as a metric model and how it would be deployed and made available to people. And I'm totally happy with that too. And so if if we shift all of the metrics to metrics models, my concern is, is that we're just kind of throwing them onto a pile that will just end up not seeing the light of day for a long time. So it's just I, kind of a timing issue. I I agree with that thought that that logically, even if they do fit making the shift all at once, it would be such a giant project that I don't know that we could take that on and actually continue to support the metrics we've already put in the world. So how about we develop then over here in the value? like? and then present it to the take it to the metric model group like all the ones that are identified as metrics models model yeah so we pick one we work on that in this group once we feel that it's good enough then we can take it to the model working group from a uh, from a working group perspective we are in the middle of a metrics freeze right so we've all agreed not to create any new metrics so uh so doing the modeling work in value that that could be how we what we do what we use our time for i suppose we could and i mean i think the metrics model working group would appreciate that like if if we instead of just saying here's a former metric like knock yourself out <laughs> you know <laughs> like that's not going to be super well appreciated in the metrics model working group or it may just be met with indifference not even underappreciated just like whatever <laughs> just put it on our list um and so if we were able to bring like a working model to the group um i think that would be helpful um and the and the models and implementations are separate correct they're part of the metrics model working group they're in different places but they're, they're different deliverables right so we, we could work on the model here without working on the implementation yeah i mean that is that is a possibility so um i personally i think we should be including implementations that if we're going to be releasing 
metrics models to the world, we should take our time and think about them as, as working instances that people you, can actually engage with. Yeah, usefulness, I think, is a utility or high values for these products. That said, there was an agreement in the model working metrics model working group that said if there isn't an implementation, it could still be released. Yes. With an implementation to come. But personally, I, I wonder about the utility of that. Um, and again, my concern would be is that we're just kind of kicking something down the road, which is we have a metrics model, but we have no implementation. So it the utility that it provides for an audience is pretty low still at that point yeah i agree um and so my concern is if we stop working on a metric model and defer the implementation we just may never get around to it again these are totally not criticisms these are really my thoughts thinking through the metrics model yeah i, I suppose i i get that i uh I suppose, in my mind, the creation of the metrics model itself is a bit of a discussion. Uh, and in that discussion, we can we can land on well, maybe this metrics model that we've just created doesn't have utility, and maybe there's no maybe there isn't a point in in moving it towards implementation. And I think that would be okay. Uh, or uh, in in other cases, that that metrics model. Uh, may be suited for an implementation uh, in in a number of different ways, right? It could end up as a badging initiative, or it could end up as part of uh, Augur Labs, or it could end up in the, whatever the this implementation that the, the metrics model group is creating, uh, which are, I, uh, which I'm still not, I'm not completely sure what those are, because it kind of, it kind of harkens back to the, uh, when we first started, when we were creating the, uh, uh, the notebooks, right, the, uh, which we, which we abandoned. We haven't abandoned them. Uh, the notebooks? They still, no, we're still using notebooks. In fact, the metrics models, the two that have been implemented are both implemented in Jupyter Notebooks. They, I think we do have aspirations of producing metric models using more, I guess I'd say user friendly tools or mm -hmm. tools with a lower barrier of entry. But I mean, at, at, the, at the beginning of the at the beginning of the project, we were using Jupyter notebooks, and then we stopped using them. Uh, and then the, the last metric we, model we, meeting, we there were just a couple that were deployed. We've never yeah, stopped yeah, using but that's them. that's brand new. No, I mean, we've, we've, there's been continuous use of the Jupyter Notebooks and Augur Community Notebooks. Um, okay, in, in, the, the whole... soft, in the software implementation side. Yeah, and, okay. um, and I, think, I think maybe, Kevin, what you're thinking of is the Evolution Working Group tried to implement every metric in complicated Jupyter Notebooks and handle all the deployment stuff at one point. Yes, yeah, but, that is but, what I'm thinking yeah, of. That we don't do anymore. The, uh, and the approach that we take in the metrics model working group is really far less dependent. It, it, the barrier to entry is significantly lower for running those than it was on the ones in the evolution working group. Okay. Um, but it's not as low as it needs to be for people that aren't programmers. Okay. Right. Yeah, I still, I mean, I still have a concern whether or not a Jupyter notebook constitutes an implementation. You know, yeah, yeah, I mean, the right. path towards it, but yeah, absolutely. There's a, there's valid, it's valid to make that, draw that question. Yeah. If the code or book is available, that can be moved and implemented to Augur or Grimola because both are in Python and that will support ultimately. Yeah. I just, I, <clears throat> to me in the metrics model working group, we need to have implementations be like the badging program. Okay. Like where somebody fills out a form and pushes a button and then they get okay. things they need. Right. And okay. the notebook is on definitely on the path towards that. Yep. But um, but then to your point, Benad, it still requires somebody to yep. do some software installation, which is 
usually a pretty big barrier for a lot of people. So, uh, so moving forward, should we like first take a look? What are those uh, metrics that we are thinking of converting them to a model, and then we can start pick one or do some work. Well, there? so I think I can make that list. Uh, okay. As I, when we started this, I, I just I've been hesitant to make any recommendations because. Well, be, because there are questions around this, and I and I okay. wasn't sure how everyone wanted to proceed. And it's it's a it's very legitimate to say, you know, hey, maybe we shouldn't try to convert all of these into into models. So I, I agree with what Matt said there. Uh, I, so I mean, I, so I, but I do think that we could update the metrics in place as metrics and identify ones that can be converted okay. in, at some future point to models potentially, without engaging in the full process of analyzing them as models because uh, for the metrics models working group we've had to create metrics in some cases in order to build the metric model because there wasn't an existing metric so if when we do these conversions there's metrics that are going to fall out of them that are not presently in place would, would be my expectation mm -hmm. so start with let's just review the metrics and make them better in place and if we think something's ultimately better as a metric model make a note of that somewhere perhaps in the spreadsheet as a metric model candidate column or something like that okay that's Kevin, my suggestion I have a, a question to like when we talk about a metric versus a metric model um i think there's always going to be some gray area i would suspect between them you know, like maybe some metrics are clearly like super isolated things that is just like the lowest level atomic metric. And then that's on one end of the spectrum. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we have the DEI badging initiative, which is like clearly a, a model. It's a deployed model. But like the transition between those two, there there has to be some area of ambiguity in there and like where do we draw the line on saying i'm happy that sure this could maybe be a metric model but i'm kind of comfortable with it just being a you know this kind of robust metric perhaps <laughs> is whatever yeah. we call it, you know yeah uh, I, I don't know where that is yeah i don't I think mean, any of us look, do if you look at something that is like a survey so in theory every question on the survey would be its own metric because that's the lowest number that you're going to get so but that would be unwieldy so we're going to take something like psychological safety and kind of lump all of those numbers from a survey and kind of put a put a score on it on the end or put some kind of numerical value of it at the end just for simplicity's sake i think so i think that's that's kind of what you're talking about right matt yeah that I think a lot of the metrics could be broken down into smaller parts, like psychological safety, as mm -hmm. found in the survey. And as soon as we can break it down into smaller parts, does that exclude it from being a metric anymore? And I don't think it should. I think it depends a little bit on what the definition of psychological safety is, right? If it if it means if it has a more nuanced meaning uh then it probably is a model uh but uh a uh, a metric that's that's looking at a metric that's that's measuring three different things and those things that it's measuring are all kind of very similar that's probably just a metric and not a model right if the but if we start looking at we're measuring things and when we're measuring these things each of these things is is actually kind of different and tells us something a little bit different, uh, then I think it does become model. Let me, if that makes sense. I didn't say that very well, but I mean, let me present a different perspective on this, which is one that thinks first of the health of chaos as a community and the value of chaos to open source. I think the metrics that we've produced represent a valuable asset for a lot of open source software folk and changing so 
keeping that that sort of foundation upon which we're building the metric models in place while we build some metric models and discover what it is they actually are through the process of building them. I think it's important to keep that foundation of metrics in place, that that is the anchor, the, the stable point, the lighthouse, the granite, whatever that the whole community is built on is having those. So I don't want to shift that land while we're building a skyscraper of metric models on it. Or at least I want to limit the amount that we shift that land. I, th I think that's a fair statement. Uh, I, I would I would add, though, that uh, I think the metrics working groups do need to have a little bit more of a focus on atomic metrics uh, in the future, uh, yeah. because that is the foundation mm -hmm. from which everything else is being built on. Uh, and if we're if we're skipping that foundational le layer and just jumping right into metrics models, then I think we we run into this situation where we we continuously have to kind of figure out what we're doing. I I think it's not like that. We have built the foundation, like we have the metric, but now over the period we learned and we realize that we need a model. So in that process, we are now looking back to that. And in that process, we also observe that we are missing something that we are creating atomic metric. So we have the foundation, we are moving a step ahead, but we are also coming back and looking back to the foundation we build. Well, I mean, the, the atomic metrics are kind of boring, right? No one wants to, no one wants to take the time to define this ato an atomic metric because it's it's a thing that GitHub has created or or GitLab has created. It's it's this this measurable activity that just exists. So taking the time a, to define this thing is is kind of boring. But right? there's so, there's many metrics. Most of the metrics that we've created are not available on either platform today. Yeah, I don't understand the, what's the boring part of it. I think the the. the <laughs> I, I it may seem boring of, after five years, but <laughs> I'm still now, gunning. Now, I'm not saying I'm not saying they're I'm not saying they're boring to me. I'm saying I believe the working groups think that defining atomic metrics is boring. So, and that's why I mean, that's I why mean, the majority of the the majority of the metrics have turned into metrics models because I think I I don't yeah. necessarily agree with that. I I I. Mm. I don't necessarily. I don't think that. that conversation has ever come up, Kevin. And like, that's a pretty big assumption to make across all working groups. That would be my response to that. I think it's the case that some working groups have really defined the core 80, 90 percent of metrics that will ever be needed under that category. Um, and, and they're kind of done. And so metric, you know, they need to review and revise the ones that they've created early on and focus on metric model development, but that seems like a natural evolution that doesn't require the revisiting of our foundation at the same time, at least. Yeah. And I don't know where this conversation is at right now. <laughs> I don't know where. Uh, it's it's pretty clear that you all disagree with me, so I will. Not necessarily. Uh, I will, well, it's, I will it's about I've... timing. It's about timing, Kevin. It's about like doing the, so like, ac in terms of the technical definition of a metric, I think that if we look deeply into a lot of them, we would see a lot of things that we ideally would create as metric models and that a number of metrics would fall out of them. But I think in terms of keeping the community healthy, that doing that all at once would not, would, would make a lot of stuff non-functional. So a, a healthier approach would be to update and review the metrics we have in place uh, flag ones that might be metric models in the future and then where you know when we're done with that either focus on metrics models or focus on development of metrics that fall out of existing metrics but the i don't think that's i think that that's separate and it's a step it's a step that requires as a first step this review process that we've started for the existing metrics So I don't disagree with you. I'm just talking about like how to yeah, do it process wise. Kevin, I thought we were just having trying to talk through this. I don't know what yeah. I'm necessarily disagreeing with you on. Is it to review the metrics as metrics? Is that the concern? 
Kevin? What's that? I, what What do you think I'm disagreeing with you on to to even review the metrics in the first place? Or... Uh, no, the the this the disagreement that I was uh, the disagreement that I was referring to was that uh, I I don't believe the working groups have spent enough time on those foundational atomic metrics. Uh, I think they've they've jumped ahead and started working on models uh, without really addressing those 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 foundational metrics. And I, I think that's been a kind of a, a common reoccurring theme in the with the with the group. So uh, right. and now that now that we now that we're actually doing metrics models, uh, it's it's becoming it's becoming really obvious because the because when we go and we look at these metrics, they are they are models. So part of it I I do think is a little bit of timing. So the metrics model working group kind of came on recently. And so I, I do feel like I, I was thinking the other day, like I felt I felt bad for focus areas and I felt felt bad for what we were calling composite metrics. This was like the other like this the other day, because because I agree that the inclusion of metrics models has muddied the water in terms of it, yeah. in terms of how we think about these things. Um, and so I think for a long time, I mean, the conversation was around having atomic metrics and composite metrics. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yep, I do. Com composite yeah. metrics are metric models. They were just an early instantiation without a community built around it. Because I, yeah, think so I don't think it was that we didn't, that we hated atomic metrics. I just think that that was part of the common, the conversation really before metrics models showed up would be my the, kind of a timing issue. Yeah, I agree. And, and now metrics models are here. Um, and it certainly does create some like overlap with focus areas and composite metrics. And so maybe the question is like, how do we most appropriately untangle these? Because we're here now, like irrespective yeah. of how things showed up um, and not not, not like against any working group or you know, this, oh, like no. we're here like it just is what it is um and i i mean i will agree i was looking at some of the the value working group uh metrics you know what i mean and so like if i take organizational here i'll share my screen for example and this is a point you were also making kevin if i take a look at this one right and this was created i think long before metrics models existed before we were even having this conversation right um, this is like uh, four years old at right the, I guess. right and so here are like some very atomic metrics yep and then if i take a look at this one i mean for heaven's sake project popularity <laughs> these are extremely <laughs> atomic metrics and again something that i think showed up before metrics models yep. mm -hmm. and so i do like sean's idea of in here that we have wherever oh i'm on value that we could even just mark them has project recommendability been released yes and then yeah okay um that we mark them in here as you know like whatever in remarks we could even say yeah yeah candidate for metric model yeah yeah something along those lines um and we don't necessarily move it to the metrics model working group at the moment this whole tab is not any good anymore anyway um Maybe, but that go ahead yeah what i'm proposing then is like uh, maybe in the next meeting kevin if you uh, since you have reviewing this so can you if you can bring that okay these are proposed for a model these needs to be reviewed and these needs a minor or major revision then we can okay prioritize okay we take one and move ahead like that so let me yeah so that's so then i'm wondering if 
uh, for example, okay, so what is this one? Project popularity. Yep. Where's that? Is that down here. Okay, so yeah, okay, so it's already there. Yep. Um, th this would be a candidate for a metrics model. And then we I, oh, go ahead. We did some work on that. It was being turned to project awareness rather than a project popularity. So the discussion was there in the last meetings. Okay. Um, I, I still believe there is utility in taking a look at this to Sean's point, just from an objective perspective or like some of the review comments are like, this looks okay, but like the, the listing, the, the formatting around lists is screwed up or um, like a figure is too hard to read or something along those lines. I mean, chances are any figure we, figure we released three to four years ago is no longer the current figure as well. <clears throat> so I do think there still can be some utility in reviewing these. But then the question that I have is, do we keep it, if we all agree that this would be a candidate for a metric model, do we keep it as a metric? You know what I mean? I think we do until there's a metric model to go with Or do it. we just like- Yes. No, I don't think we, I don't think we throw anything it. out. No. no. I think that would be destructive to the community if we started removing yep. metrics. I, I would agree that we should keep it until we we work in a parallel, we develop a model. Once the model is ready, then we can move it and like and show it, okay, here is the model and now we are removing it rather than just remove it and then whenever we get time to work. So then what would ready be? So right now, if you look at uh, back uh, in the meeting minutes, we have uh, the work, we have started working on this particular metric as a model, and we have not removed this as yet. Once the model is ready and everyone agrees, so we move it to the working group, then we can happily remove it, would be sure. my suggestion. What is, what is, what constitutes ready? Uh, like the, fully implemented. <laughs> I think it would mean that we've we've defined the atomic metrics in it, and then have a rough, maybe a rough first draft based yeah. on the metrics model template of how they work together. That would be. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree with that. That so any any metric that it becomes a metric model, it's I think assumed that multiple metrics will fall out of that. My only question about this is, um, so we're we're deciding we we probably need to define each of these numbers one through thirteen, with with the exception of the ones that we've already done. How do we know that other working groups aren't also working on some of these like, like followers? Like that seems like maybe or clones like maybe that might be in common. Clones, or, clones has been uh, defined. Defined in common. Yep. So that's so, the only piece that we're missing yeah. really, that bridge of who's working on what. So to answer to your question, Elizabeth, is many of us are in different, uh, many of the working groups. So we do know somehow that this is defined, this is not, and then we propose, okay, let's look at this one or let's continue developing. That is not uh, written or uh, outlined anywhere, but it's just pre our presence helped that solution. And I, I suppose we can we can look at the uh, the table to see if it's being worked yep. on, yep. Uh, and we can look at the release to see if it's been uh, defined. Uh, although the the table has the released ones as well, so we could just look yep. at the table. Yep, I think the table is the best solution. Just Control F and find the metric if it is there or not in the entire sheet. So so then ready would include. Um, attention to any uh, like atomic metric, like it needs to either be done or yep. or we remove it. <laughs> if, we, if we're just like that, we don't need this to to get the point across. Like 
like that. I don't know how you like that it seems impossible. Conversation yeah. for a project outside of a project. Well, in the previous model meetings, we, we had talked about uh, uh, having fewer metrics in these models to yeah. begin with. Yeah. So, like things uh, like these, I th like four to six, four to six metrics in a in a model is the most I would ever want to yes. see. Uh, I don't know what other people thought think on that, but I thirteen is way agree. too many. I yep. totally agree. And when we were discussing, we already removed many of these from this in the previous okay. discussion. So that is being moved. So, so one of the requirements is to refine and um, ensure that any listed metric is published. Is that yes. correct? And then make sure that this is then, Elizabeth, I think you had said this, make sure that this is then in the metrics model template form. Like there might be some changes that need to be made. Yeah, just so we have something to present to the metrics okay. model group. And then the implementation is not our responsibility. Here. I think that would be on the metrics models. To okay. figure that part out. That's my personal feeling, but others may disagree. <laughs> and I, and I still I still am not sure that the requirement of an implementation is uh, is is a good idea. I I think we should encourage the implementation, and the implementations are good. But requiring the implementations, I I do worry about that, especially for some of the more qualitative. Did I misunderstand uh, earlier that models. we're not, we are, my understanding is we are not requiring implementations. We just, we don't like, require them at the moment. Okay. Just, we just do not. So it, a lot of the, the comment about implementations was just me speaking. Like, I really want these to be implemented just okay. to help. And then, so yeah. I, I know, I know early on when we were talking about this, we, we weren't requiring them, but the, the mm -hmm. language lately has been sounding like we were wanting to require them. Uh, and I'm in the I'm in the wanting to require them camp. I will say that, and I I understand why we wouldn't. But if if I was gonna stand somewhere, it would be to require implementation. How about, how about well, we and how I about we use the language strongly encourage you to create an implementation? Strongly hope that you can. <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm in the camp of wanting to require them as well, which is one of the reasons I see just doing this as an information classification activity. Oops, this is a metric model. It's like we're so, ignoring all of the work and all the value of the metric as it is. And that's my concern. So how about we have a two-step release process? One, we develop the model, uh, release it. And the second step is we release the working implementation of the model. I think, I think that's, that's what we're, I think that's where we're at now. Yeah. Uh, and the release process is really informal uh, so once so once this is let's pretend that we get this list down to six and we have links to all the things that we want you know what i mean all the metrics yeah. are defined and then we get it into a template it's not implemented but we get it into the metrics model template and then we um tell the metrics model team like hey here's one that's you know done uh -huh. without implementation then do we remove it from the value working group as a metric and it just becomes a model at that point which is I, fine i'm just yeah i, I think I, that's the yeah, process but it's it, i think i think if that's the process as well but it's, it would obviously be replaced with uh some of these metrics that we've uh, we've had yeah, to define to yeah yep yeah. More so it's that. probably a it's probably a swap, right? We lose one, yeah. we lose one metric, and we gain four more. Okay, right. Uh, Regarding implementation, so, um, this is a little to the side, but I think that Yahoi had brought this up, kind of um, as, as an offhand comment. But it would be great if we used chaos as the test to implement these. Like, I would like to do something like this on the chaos project. Let's see how popular our project is for for instance. Mm -hmm. so I think like that would be maybe in the future if we if we have more hands on deck to implement these, but we could just use them on ourselves and that would be the implementation to start off with anyway. 
I think that's a really good idea because we could do we could do surveys for the uh, more some of the more qualitative uh, uh, models, uh, which which would be hard for us to do otherwise. Uh, yeah, and I mean, Yahoo is really pushing for, and rightfully so. Uh, if I come, is it in? The implementation is where the value is, and that's what people are coming to us for. Yeah. But that's, I think, a separate discussion than reviewing metrics. Like, it feels like a circle a little bit. <laughs> well, I just, I just worry that we're moving, we're moving past the the metrics and the models too fast into the implementations. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not. That's my worry. I'm not saying that's what's happening, but my worry is that we're doing that. So. I kind of want to slow down for a second and take a peek and make sure that we know what metrics are, we know what models are, and we know what the implementations are going to look like uh, before we before we like jump in and start going all in on the implementations. Uh, yeah, and I think that's I do think that has been a conversation in the metrics model working group, and I I think you were at that one, given the big thumbs up, Kevin, which was like. Let's do these one at a time and slow, like yes. not have a release cycle that's like the metrics where we sometimes release 17 <laughs> or whatever yep. it might be in a six month period. Mm -hmm. But like, I mean, a six month period might entail two metrics models, maybe one, but it's, it's good. It's end to end. It's articulated well. We have like in the case of say community, well, that needs to update, but community activity, we have like available sample data. We have ways to do the implementation. Yep, and I'm and I'm I'm all on board. I thought that was a, a good conversation, and I but I think that part of the conversation we need to continue have is around the definition of what a metric is, what a model is, and 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 the conversation we're having right now, where the the value working group can work on and build that model, and then maybe the implementation is done through the the metrics model working group. Uh, like right, and, and right. I think that's an important conversation to have. I mean, right now, most of our implementations are done through Augur and Grimoire Lab for the metrics. And each of them has a, a website up that shows statistics for the chaos community, as Elizabeth suggested. So making models do that is just basically deploying those models against the, the stuff that we've already created and collected. All right. Maybe uh, then for the next meeting, are you, Kevin, going to bring the list which needs to be booked and uh, yep, reviewed? I'll, uh, okay. Matt and Elizabeth have created uh, an issue format for uh, for yep. going through these reviews. So I'll I'll have that done by the next uh, uh, meeting, okay. uh, and I'll have uh, recommendations for. Uh, uh, changes based on keeping them as a metric, and and I'll also have recommendations on whether or not I think they should be turned into a uh, metrics model. Okay, so I've given you an action item for that. Okay. Uh, next. Then the next item we have on agenda was uh, working on the project popularity, which turns out to be project awareness model. Some work was done in the previous meetings. Do you want to, I don't know, we have just seven minutes. What is it? Which link is it? Is it this one? Uh, the new link. If you this go one? to the, okay. yes. So mm -hmm. this, on this, we have already discussed was trying to move this. Can you see this list from 13? We have squished uh, like five, six metrics. Yeah. Oh, and this, is, and this is a model. This isn't a metric. Yes, this is a model, which was like from project popularity, we discussed it and it turned out to be rather than project popularity, a project awareness model. And another model was suggested from that, which was project usage model. This should probably be a candidate then under the assumption that Kevin would label this as a yes, candidate as a, for a metric model. 
Yeah. Yes. I'm going to go out on a limb. <laughs> yeah, we, we should probably we should probably table this for a moment until we decide yep. uh, what yeah, we want to do. Project popularity, I would separate from all of the discussion that we've had here because that was the original metric where during its development, people, I won't say who, me, said it's a composite metric. It's just blending a bunch of metrics together. This is not the same thing as the other metrics. And so like this one of all the metrics in value is the most obviously a model. It, it's clearly incorporating many different metrics that need to be defined. Yep. Um, yep, I so, agree. so we could choose to like, maybe we edit the other metrics first or yep. before we finish this. Yep. Like, it feels like, yeah, right. It feels like we're kind of moving forward on two fronts on this one. Like one front would be for Kevin to review this metric. So it, project popularity is already a metric that's been released. Yes. So yes. according to the discussion that we've just had, we need to edit this mm -hmm. as a metric. Yeah. Even if we recommend that we Correct. move it into a model. Yeah. So that's a great yeah, because like there was an evolution metric that we had done in an interim release that got removed. So I don't think we want to be taking metrics away without replacing them with something. But, so that one wasn't it was never released. So it wasn't it well, wasn't uh, it was interim released. I mean, which one? This one? I forget well, which the different one. No, the uh, uh, the conversion rate metric. Uh, yeah. yeah, which so became the, a, a major metric model. It's a separate case. Yeah. But what I don't want to see is for that to become a pattern where, okay, this is, we've declared this a model. So now we're just going to take the metric away because people refer to this metric. People know what the project popularity metric is. And until we've replaced it, we, I don't think we should remove it, like to take it away from people I, who have used it. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. But then if you are thinking in that way, we have already done with one of the metric from the value, which is social currency. It was a release metric. We just removed it. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that happened. But I, and but that was I guess social currency was the one where it was a composite metric slash metric yep. model from the start. Yep. And we, we knew it, but we didn't have metrics models as a construct construct for debate or discussion. Then, yep. So yep. can I can I just pass all of us to think about something <laughs> for the next meeting Nirvana. So, <laughs> so, um, yoga so the metrics models are clearly a value add and things that i think organizations and communities and people would like to see implemented i mean we hear this time and time again and the atomic metrics themselves provide some utility but probably not a lot. They're really the foundation for the yeah, model. Exactly. And so the models are really, from what I'm understanding, kind of where where it's at. And so one of my concerns, this the, the thing to think about then is that we need to make sure that like a funnel, like we don't have all the working groups up here that have right. all of these potential composite metrics, metrics models. And then the poor metrics model working group is the skinny end of the funnel. <laughs> and like it all just flows into this thing and it all just gets stuck because we've clogged the funnel and we have no like every everything just queues up behind that skinny part and we don't have an ability to really function well as a metric model working group that's all yeah so i'm not sure how to solve that and that's why i say think about it yeah, I mean, I think some of my suggestions about just fixing things in place as metrics and flagging them prevents that funnel from being created, like prevents that back pressure. Then we have to commute, we'll have to communicate this yeah. to all working groups. Yeah. Also, the, the work, the work of building models in working groups does take some of the pressure off the uh, the metrics model working group. So, I mean, if, if value is creating a, a model for project popularity, that's a that's a model that the work the the model working group doesn't have to do. Right. right, right. And if and if implementation is strongly encouraged but not required, then that implementation could uh, uh, happen at a later time uh, or be implemented by uh, uh, 
another group entirely, I suppose, if, uh, you know, perhaps the, the implementation happens in Augur instead of the metrics model working group, or it happens in Grimoire Lab instead of the metrics model working group. Well, yeah, uh, the metrics model working group, is, yeah. as an aside, has defined a standard way of defining Maybe. the models, platform Maybe. independent. I think uh, the conversation is creating a need for having a working group focused on the implementation. Uh, yeah, yes, maybe. it is another working group, but this is the need I see. Like we have the metric, we have the models being created. Now we need an implementation team. That can be, if a dedicated team is there, that seems then a, like a outcome I see. That seems like what the what the metrics model working group is. So or becoming yeah before i yeah right before i think we make any suggestions on community structural changes let's try to like i just i don't also just don't want to kick this down to another group i, I yeah. we need to take a look at yeah. what structures we have in place right now okay and, and to your point the points being raised of building metrics models within the working groups even if they're not implementable totally yeah. agree that takes pressure okay. off of that skinny end of the funnel yep yeah. um but then like how, i just i'm not sure like how we how we do the implementations without making another working group perhaps because <laughs> yeah. i'm afraid that just moves it down the chain somewhere else and it requires more coordination with another working group and the metrics model working group it's just i think Yahui has you know their last metric model that they built is on the path and i think maybe we need to just be socializing some of this work because it's clear that not everybody's getting the same perspective on all the different parts of it so there's i mean it's, by socializing i mean maybe there's a podcast about it maybe there's a right a blog post about these things like this is more than one blog post more than one podcast like there's i think a lot of thought that's occurred in the metrics model working group, the Asia Pacific working group, and around this revision of existing metrics that I, I think maybe if we just socialized it and made it more of a conversation, some of the things we're wrestling with in this meeting today might re resolve. We are at the end of time, so. Out of time. Yep. One minute late. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for the very fruitful discussion. Yeah, it's a good conversation. I it think was. It's, yeah. it's some really hard things to think about. <laughs> and Kevin, Kevin, thank you for persisting in your in your con in the conversation. And I hope I hope you know we're not disagreeing with you. It's just well, complicated. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having the conversation. I uh, I apologize if I'm pushing too hard. Mm -hmm. I uh, I I uh, I have that habit sometimes. I. Uh, like I'm not sure they're listening to me. I'll, I'm going to push harder. Uh, so I, I yeah. don't. Uh, I don't mean to be obnoxious. Yeah, I cannot relate to that at all. <laughs> uh, but I, in, generally speaking, I, I I like what I've been hearing, and and I and I like what I I like the discussions that are happening in the the metrics model working group as well. And uh, just to be clear, I don't I don't disagree with the. Uh, with the goals or what we're doing. I'm just, uh, I'm really at the, at the, can we slow down and make sure we have, that we understand parts of the process. Yep. Uh, that's, that's where I'm, fair. that's where I'm at. And, and that fair. does, that does connect back to even just defining what a metric is and giving guidance on, on what it should look like, you know? So, okay. Yep. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Thank Catch you. you later. See you. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, everybody. Bye.